Okay, so I decided to make a video of some of the redone that we did in our pantry. And I figured sometimes a video may be easier than typing in pictures. And it is by far not done. Um, we still have some more organization to do and um, some more bins I want to acquire. But I'm still in the search of the right bins that I have pictured in my brain. I just can't find them here in the stores. So I'm scouring the internet to find just what I'm looking for. But I had the door cracked because you can see it's dark inside. This is one of the things that my husband installed for me a couple months ago. I made the comment that one of the bad things, habits we had was that we let the pantry light on all the time. So he put in one of these wonderful sensor lights. And as you can see, when I go in, let there be light. And it's right there. And I can easily turn off and on. Um, that has probably been one of the best things in the pantry. Well, one of the best things. But, <clears throat> back up. As you can kind of see, here is a little bit of the remake of the pantry. I had him paint it gray. So my shelves will pop. Because that's what they say to do. They get pop. Um, and we put it on this track system. I don't know if you can see up there the shelving track system. Before it was um, just installed on the wall and the shelves were not adjustable. And right here, there was this this um, pole that came down and it blocked everything. It was amazing that when we took that pole out, how much it opened up these shelves. And then by putting the track system and we basically gained two extra shelves up there, actually one way up there and then by adjusting I was able to gain one way down there and <clears throat> so it's gained a whole bunch of new space and um, and so I've been trying to zone my shelves so here's kind of what we've done by zoning our shelves and where I'm still kind of um, organizing it now since I've done this I've not done any major grocery shopping I've done some but not major and part of the reason why was because when I took everything out of that pantry, I found that I had numerous boxes of things that I didn't know I had. Like, yeah, I had two of the grits. I didn't know I had two of them. Um, <clears throat> I had numerous other things I had too. Like, uh, I had two paprikas. I didn't know. Because everything was so, I had three open salts. Everything was just so crazy and cramped and crowded and thrown in there. And um, we just needed a better system to be able to do that. Now, that shelf up there, I did know about those. That's kind of my stock couponing shelf. Things go on sale. Yeah, those are some things I do stock up on because we do use a lot of that stuff. And so it's nice now to have like a dedicated shelf. I don't know if you can see of what that all is. Um, so really quickly, because you don't need to spend a lot of time. On this video. That bottom shelf down there is going to be our kids zone. Um, right there are our kids snacks. They're low, easy to get to. The bin just has a whole bunch of like really quick snacks. My kids are always hungry and so it's a quick thing. And then this area over here is supposed to be quick lunches. Um, and eventually those will be like quick soups um, and things that we can do use for lunches during the daytime when we school. And, and then just, um, I've been trying to keep bread right there, or a lot of it now. So that is some things I have gotten. And, of course, my kids eat ramen noodles. Not the most nutritious thing, but they like it. This shelf here will be all of cans. Um, I had a lot of cans because I stock up on them. I like this little contraction. I got this at Costco many years ago. And... <clears throat> But trying to figure out how to use it and um, how to best utilize all my cans. And so um, I do like stacking them too. I kept the boxes for all my tomato products that I got at Costco. That part of the shelf is breakfast items, cereals, oatmeal, my grits, granola. Um, these two baskets here hold a lot of our pasta items and sauces. Um, I have some different kind of pastas, some from the Amish country that I picked up. 
And then just various these shelves pick up some of our flowers and oatmeal soup mixes <coughs> and just various different um, things that we cook with. And I got these bins at Walmart just the other day to try to organize. I don't know if I like them or not, but um, just to try to see about organizing. This shelf up here, I really want to be my baking shelf and um, my cookie cutters and um, just various um, different cooking, baking supplies. I don't know if I'm going to move that to another cabinet or not, so we'll see. Spices, my stock, different electronics, and various other things. Up here that we taught things, things that we don't use every day. Um, lunch boxes, obviously we don't use lunch boxes every day. And some of our lunch um, coolers we use. I have a little bit of free space and I've got some ideas what to use up there. Um, and then just some other things that I use not on a regular basis, but easy to get to because with the step stool here, it's easy to get to. And then <clears throat> down the bottom, you remember I told you I have three cans of olive oil. Three cans. Ay, ay, ay. And then I keep, I just stocked up on paper towels again. And then I knew about the Chex Mix. And then my KitchenAid Mix um, parts are back there. And then um, I have some other things. So, so this is kind of where our kitchen pantry is right now. It's still in work in progress. And once I find the bins, and the exact way that I want to actually organize the different things to make them easiest, <clears throat> I'll let you see. I don't know when that's going to be because once I have to find the bins. So, as you can see, just some simple shelving and some paint has really helped added a whole bunch of space and helped us know really what's in the pantry and will help our food and our menu planning go a lot smoother. At least that's the goal, is if the kids don't tear it apart and put it all down on the bottom. Yeah, 